Hey everyone, welcome to Poetry Day 10. Today we're going to write acrostic poems. Easily write an acrostic poem. Okay, select a topic for your poem. Write the topic word vertically on your paper. You want to capitalize each letter of the word. Start each line with the capital letters you wrote. Each line of the poem should kiss uh, should consist of a phrase related to the topic. See the examples below. So this is an example of a topic. Poem is the topic word. Notice how it's written vertically and each letter of poem is capitalized. So you can see P-O-E-M. And the idea is to write a poem uh, based on your topic word. So each line starts with that letter. Playing with words opens your mind. Everything is possible. My oh my. So it's writing time. I know this was a shorter lesson, but this one's pretty straight and to the point. So you're going to write your own acrostic poem. It can be more than one word if you like. Okay, I think they're better if you actually kind of write it like a poem with all the good stuff that we've learned up to this point. Uh, each letter is a sentence related to the word. Ask yourself, how can I include other elements of poetry in this poem? So this is important because we've been learning about so many cool elements of poetry. It would be great if you can include those things in your poem, such as onomatopoeia, right? Sounds, alliteration, repeating the same letter over and over again, but maybe with different words. Simile, uh, comparing things using the words like or as. Metaphor is referring to something else, right? Uh, referring to a thing other than what you're actually talking about. Uh, rhythm, so hopefully you're uh, reading your poems out loud and they have a certain rhythm to them. And rhyme. Okay, you can use rhyming words. So here are some examples. Uh, the topic here is cats. Cuddly, acrobatic, tenacious, softly purring. So this one just uses mostly one word lines, but the poet chose them very carefully. Here's one about spring by Caitlin Gunther. So many flowers are blooming. Petite little squirrels come out to play. Really big bears awake from their slumbers. Imaginative children enjoy a walk with their friends. No tree is left standing without any leaves. So, go ahead, jump for joy because spring is here. So I think a poem like this is something that you should be going for. Uh, however, whatever you're inspired to do is fine. A poem like this also, right? My friend in the dark night, over the sky up high, offering the bright light in the blue sky, nudging us to the next sunrise. So I like how, without even reading the fact that the topic is moon, uh, this poem is referring to the moon. Okay, so that's nice. That's kind of what you're going for there. Here's one about friends. This is written by uh, somebody named Ashley. <laughs> Fun times, returning hopefully again, important to one another, enjoying each other, new friends forever, doing fun things together, stay in touch. And that's it. So uh, look forward to reading what you guys are able to write and enjoy writing acrostic poems. Bye for now.